Hello everybody, it's Ocity Medhaven here today, and I wanted to go over the uh, new season that's going to be coming out, Battlefronts, and I I'm going to be completely honest, I am actually going to say this season looks like a good season. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the video, it's going to be muted of course, uh, because last time I had it unmuted I got hit with copyright, uh, but whatever, problem solved. You learn, experience, whatever, you know, I got hit with copyright by playing the in-game video at the start of the game, so if you guys are recording or doing anything, just remember... You'll get hit with one even at the start of the game with it showing off. So, Battlefronts, I'm actually, got gotta say, the Krivets and the Chrysler K are going to be awesome giveaways inside the Season Pass for 2,000 gold. Along with the uh, 114 SP2, uh, this tank is actually really nasty. Um, over on PC, this is considered a miniature grill. And it's just going to be fun. Um, along with the M4 A1 uh, FL10, this is actually a four-shot autoloader, tier six medium tank. Uh, that it did get a hit point buff a while back. And in all honesty, I'm, I'm actually been considering replaying this tank as of recent. And it's pretty cool to see it on the season pass because it's the free reward. It's actually not that bad of a tank. Um, not a whole lot to go over except for just pretty much the tanks that they're going to be giving out. Let's take a look at the statistics of the uh, Chinese tier 10. 5% uh, XP bonus, standard match, 2,000 hit points, that's nice, 15.56 power to weight, top speed of 45, 18 reverse. This is actually really healthy because the tank actually has uh, no armor to begin with. This is against itself, except for 75mm of side armor, so you can side scrape inside this to bait shots to get people uh, to fire into it. And if you're doing that, you don't want to rotate your turret a whole lot, you just want to leave your turret straight on. Because you don't have enough turret armor to really angle it at all. It's not going to be able to, unless you go full sideways. But even then, you're still better off just leaving it full out. Now, coming back, uh, hull traverse, 30 degrees. Uh, turret traverse, 18 degrees. It's a slow turret, but that's going to be okay. 7 degrees of gun depression is not bad. 20 degrees of elevation. 273 standard pin, 650 alpha, 329 premium pin, more than likely APCR. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to say it over here. Yep, you got speed, APCR at 1,250. That's actually a really comfortable uh, shell velocity. 1,050 on the APs. In all honesty, if you want to make some good silver, right here is the way to go. That's not bad at all. 35 rounds of ammo, though. Yeah, I mean, 650 alpha is pretty nice. Damage per minute, 2,672. 14.6 reload time. Accuracy at 0.32. So compared to PC, uh, this is only worse by 0.1. That's actually not bad. Actually going to turn out really good of a tank. Ah, uh, Got HE, 760 velocity. Okay. View range is 390, so you can get away with not using optics on this, but you're going to need to use the crew bonuses on it. And then the armor on it. Yeah, it's 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 super thin armor. It's not going to be super strong. Yeah, it got 135 going all around. 160 on the gun mental at least, so you might be able to absorb some shots every once in a while, but not super often. Uh, 90 millimeters, using your maxed out 70 degrees of gun depression. 166. It is carrying a 152 millimeter gun as well, which is nice. So, yeah, that's the um, 114 SP2. I'm actually kind of stoked to see this come into the game. Uh, I've been waiting uh, personally to see um, them add in the WZ114, because this is actually a premium uh, tier 9 that I enjoy playing over on PC. It's got a really long reload for 530 alpha. Yeah, look at the DPM, 1658, really bad DPM. Uh, but 266 standard pin, it's heavily armored. Well, it's got decent armor. It's got a 0.32 uh, dispersion, so really good dispersion values. Uh, 3.74 aim time in this one. This is what I've been waiting for to come into the game, but... Uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to be waiting quite a bit for that thing to drop on us, which I'm going to be super stoked whenever it does. And then Cold War tanks. I'm not a big fan of Cold War, so I'm not really going to go over this. Somebody else can go over that. Um, but up next is the TS-54 that they're going to be uh, coming out with. I do believe they announced it somewhere. They announced it inside the video right here. Uh, it does pop up where they show it off for a split second. But, yeah. Not really... A whole lot to go over right here except for this ts54 um whenever this tank comes out i'll be putting some time into it and then putting my review out on it within like the first four days i'm going to try and put my matches inside this as quick as i possibly can but for anyone that's going to be going against this and it's going to be your first time going against it here's the weak spots top right and top left of the turret these are considered weak spots because that's all spaced armor 200 millimeters it doesn't matter the angle that you're at it's always going to be at 200 millimeters, it's just going to be really easy to go through a lot of the time. 
on both right and left. And if you're unable to hit those consistently, because let's say he's uh, side scripting a tad bit because he's coming out, uh, you have a little hatch right here. And then on the side of the turrets, you also have additional weak spots. But then again, if he's coming around with a weird side script, it's going to be funky to go against. And also, if they're using their gun depression and they're going against you, but they're on a ridge and they're slightly pulling up and over everything else, um, aim into the side armor. You can overmatch underneath inside the entire backside here. So if they're side scraping and they're above you, you're capable of exposing this weak spot and damaging them. And I do believe the ammo rack is located around here on both sides. I could be wrong, though. But over on PC, whenever I see these things, they are devastating with their 280 Alpha with their 94 millimeter gun, which means that you're going to be able to overmatch 30 millimeters of armor on tanks. So it's going to be the first 94 millimeter that's going to be introduced into the game. I do believe over on PC, it is the only 94 millimeter. It is a very, very strange gun. I could be wrong because it is a British gun. So there's a chance that we do have a 94 millimeter, and I've just never paid attention to it. But. TS-54, that's pretty much what it's going to be. And then the Chrysler K. <laughs> In all honesty, this thing speaks for itself. Max out your gun depression, and you're going to be having a lot of fun with this tank. For me personally, I have put a lot of time into my Chrysler K. I have three marked it. I enjoy this tank. I'm even sporting the uh, Team Ragnarok uh, skin on this tank because I played it during that event. And then the Kree events being a part of the season pass as well. This is another tank that, personally, I think this is one of the better tanks in game to get. Uh, in all honesty, this season pass has actually got some really good tanks that they're showing off. And as you can see, Team Hurricane, I, I actually played the crap out of this during that event. But unfortunately, they did not win. I actually can't remember who won, but I know it wasn't Team Hurricane, the team I joined. I put a lot of time into it, and I had a lot of fun. Now, for me personally, I'm actually extremely excited about this. Because they're going to probably okay double tap ts54 honestly the skin on this doesn't look too bad the double barrel heavies are coming into the game hopefully that i mean they're going to be out absolutely outrageous those things are going to be really fun to play uh but okay it passed did it pass i think it did i think it, i completely went brain dead right here 7v7 tier 8 only um team destruction holiday event uh holiday eights I am actually stoked about this. To starting on December 8th to December 11th, um, I'm going to be putting a lot of time into the game around that time because I want to play the 7v7, and I really, it, it, it's just going to be an absolute blast. It's going to be the only thing I'm going to be playing all day. I'm probably going to be live streaming it over on Twitch. And then they're going to be doing a Tier 10 one on January 12th to January 15th, so a month later. And then they're going to be doing the... Um, tank mode here december 19th to january 1st i don't know why they showed this last like the, the timings are different like this is you, you got the tier 8 event then you have the tier then you have the toy tanks then you have the tier 10 event so this right here i don't know why they had it placed like that um but yeah toy tanks i mean i'm probably not going to play it i honestly hope that they don't bring in that actually i might play that to check out the map that they did for the custom map but that's pretty much about it i'm I gotta say, this season pass is worth the pickup. I'm not buying the ultimate season pass, because the ultimate's the one that comes with the uh, Cold War tank, but by buying the regular season pass, you're gonna get access to that tier 10 tank, which, unfortunately, it's another tier 10 tank in the season pass, and the more of those that we do, it just means that players who have put a lot of time into the game get punished because new players get to play in tier 10, and they could have... Uh, I'm sorry for saying this, and not sorry. They have half a brain... And they got a tier 10 at the very start of the game. So for me, it is kind of a letdown. But I mean, still, it's cool that they're doing it. But it's just, it makes the matchmaker really weird. And I'm clicking buttons, all sorts of buttons. I about actually clicked uh, stop recording and that would have been funny on my end. Anyways, guys, have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. I just wanted to stop and let you guys know that's my opinion on it. I think it's going to be a cool season pass and worth the pickup and definitely worth the grind. If you don't have the Chrysler K or the Korea Vets, um, they are both amazing tanks, in my opinion. Honestly, I love playing my Chrysler K. I actually play this every single once in a while just to put matches inside of it and have fun. Um, the crew loadout that I have on this, you can take a look at it, bottom left. And then the equipment loadout I have on this is pretty much all it needs. You get haul down, lock down, and you become really hard to pin. Till next time, you guys. I'm out of here.